got time to float along until I reach the water Falling down, I wonder if I'll burn out when I hit the bottom Every day I'm swimming through the galaxy, I feel the heat The sun is shining through the blinds and washing over me I see the giants waving me on over What's up guys, welcome back to another video Today I have more Dark Lucian duels for you um the these duels were taking over multiple days so there's two different deck lists this is the deck list for like the first two duels and then there's some deck lists um this is deck list post cashier release he has thrust and stuff and anti cashier so we're getting to them they'll be both be will be shown at the end of the video um tomorrow i am streaming for a long time we're going to be streaming the last card standing i'm i don't know what i'm gonna play yet I have to do more testing with Alba's deck. I'm gonna be streaming. Um, probably using this anti cashier DM build for the meta tomorrow for the MCS around PM. But let's get into the duels now. Um, this first duel is against Mathmec. Um, I think I broke their board like very nicely. They're playing Fenrir, of course. Very blessed. They're playing the the adventure engine, hand trap galore. So many hand traps. So we're going to second. We do have talent. This should help us. Um, we start with they get circular. They already have circular, so they get diameter with the kind of mining. Um. Traditional math my combo, make a bunch of like monsters, set up the trap for the negate and the uh, N3. Summon Flash Mage, Flash Mage coming back, Circular, Trans Code, Trans Code coming back, Flash Mage, Summon Addition, uh, Heat Soul, so Draw. So we have a Cold Link, so we have Cold Link Heat Soul, so that's untargetable, it's untargetable as well. This is gonna get him an extra draw. He has four cards in hand. He has a trap set up for the extreme laugh mix in the grave. Draw Maxi, which is gonna help. Um, actually, he he wastes a glue spell on the prep because it just adds from the graveyard to the hand. So that's good. We already have a loose chaos, it doesn't really matter. Heat souls. I think does he heat soul in the main phase? He heat souls in the main phase is definitely a misplay. You turn all my talents for free. Um, this is chaos. He ashes it, of course. And yeah, as we talents, um, um, since he saw is a hard ones per turn, we can use it. If it's a soft ones per turn, I saw like um, if you steal a rice card and you already activate it, you can't use it again. Um, because it's one for a copy. So th this is like the difference. If we use it. We get um, what do we even draw? Draw. What do we draw off of it? We do a talents. We do another talents. It's useless. So here, this is the very good use of Guardian Chimera here, using his monster plus the two monsters in hand with the secrets. This becomes very powerful with Guardian Chimera. We can draw two and just and pop one, and we can pop the trap. Um, even if we change the trap here, our Guardian Chimera will pop it before it's activatable. And I don't know if it's untargetable here. It might be untargetable, I'm not sure. Draw chance, but works. Of course, we get the maxi double draw here, so this is very nice as well. In terms of the patient, we just pop the patient, but he can um, protect him. This card is so overloaded. Send three, of course, he hits the rod. We, like, cards would have been perfect for him to hit. And uh, he gets to send a monster. Like, this card is so overloaded with effects. Send Guardian Chimera. Stuff soul, send DMG. He negates the soul, so we just normal summon it. Uh, Salvation send. Send two, because it breaks. And we get we get circle and soul servant perfect. Um, we get Mahad here. And Mahad is about to help us push to this board. Okay, dark. Going back to Magma and Magma will search in the end phase. Um, what is it search? I have no idea what it's searching. We also get the banish here. We're going to dark magician with the Selene so we can get the extra. Actually, the grave for Axe Code. He just scoops it up right there. We had Circle Banish for any follow up plays. Um, 
Okay, nice. Um, here we have 60 card um, Zephra Pendulum Pile. Um, here we get um, Gamma, but we have Talon, so we can actually play to it and we have Servant to stack. back. So we stack Souls, of course, to draw two. And we draw Eternal Soul, that's absolutely beautiful. We get Circle, we get another Circle. We see Chicken Game on top, so we draw it. Chicken Game, we draw one. Draw to another Impermanent. And two to draw more cards. Anima to steal this for a big attack monster. And we have Follow Up Good, we have Imperm, we double Imperm, Circle Vanish. So he let, we let him play because we're just going to ban him as soon as he gets three counters. Get rid of a scale and he cancelled one from death. Um, he scales that, so he has bad skills. I was like, okay, we won from here because he's in from the electrical line and he pretty much is. And he just boosted it up right there. Very quick games here. Now here we have Kestia. So this is where I switch over to the anti Kestia stuff. As you can see, they have the new cards, Theosis, um, Pressure Planet. They're even playing Pathfinder because they don't even need their normal summon. So they can play this ancient card, Pathfinder, because there's no more terraforming. They're playing Pathfinder. I, feel, I see people play like three Pathfinder. Um, some people are on Desires. So this deck is kind of bricky sometimes. Um, uh, you should probably be on um, Forbidden Lands, so you don't get outed by like Imperm and stuff on your Rise Heart. Um, playing Preparation is a choice. I, I, people are not playing Ogre as well. So you just you just banish Big Bang and then you loop it with a Rise Heart. Like this deck is so dumb. You just loop Big Bang with a Rise Heart, get infinite monsters. You loop the Osus, get infinite cards in your hand. Um, yeah. Like. Okay. So, go second. For our hand is absolutely crazy. Fenrir, Thrust, Max Siege is absolutely broken. Rod, Salvation. Good start. I would rather this be Souls, but Rod Souls would have been like the best. Like this hand could be the Rod Souls here. Oh my lord. Busted luck. We can get. Um, at this point with Kashira, just maxing the standby phase. Just don't even wait until the main phase. I know you can get minus one, but just maxing the standby phase because these inherent special summons. I missed right here. I should have just maxied on the standby phase. Maybe he'll just pass turn and then I can set up a bunch of interruptions. Um, but we wait for a special summon effect. And that also turns on town. So pretty bad. So is Pierre Clock Kashira, he joins the Dark Mission out of our deck, which we don't care about. Um he's gonna play into Maxi for, for some reason. Um he just goes into a rise for the materials, plays around mid. Thing is we have Book of Eclipse. But here, I actually misplayed here, I should have imperm first. I because I People usually play Lance and Cashier so they, a Rice Heart doesn't get outed. Like, if you have, if you go the, the anti Nibra and just make a Rice Heart like that with the three materials, they have Lance set. That's pretty, that's a pretty strong board. So I probably should have Imperm first, then chain the uh, Book of Eclipse. Did this way, we, he thinks we're playing Cashier, so he Imperm Fenrir, but we drew Souls off draw, so this is just, it's over here. Um. The Summer Dark Condition, we banish the Burst, going to Chaos Angel, gonna see a Rise Heart. Attack first, they're on evenly. Put Salvation, set Eternal Soul, set Imperm. Okay, in his Imperm column, gets no draw of, of, off of Eclipse. That's what I really like about Dark Condition and playing Eclipse. We have the Circle Banish, if we can get to it. And we have Chaos Angel, if we get to Rod Souls. There's two banishes, they're usually not gonna be drawing off of Eclipse. Uh, Fenrir only can target uh, faces of monsters, so that's why we did the uh, first. And uh, we just banished uh, their first monster, they don't really have much follow up there. That's true. We did use Thrust that game, but it came up. 
Um, here we have Scareclaw using Scareclaw cast here pretty much. Pretty much half cast here, half Scareclaw. Um, card is both a Scareclaw and a cast here. Take it again. Fender, Imper, very nice. Rod Soul, very nice. Okay, all right, it's online. It would be Unicorn, but of course, I think they have they have Spirit Class Professor already. And they have full combo with the Light Heart. So they go, keep going. Let's go here, which is a very good card. I don't know when, when did this come out. It's a new card. I haven't seen this card before. It's pretty good. Pretty much protects some. Um, your link monsters from targeting or destruction effects is very hard to get rid of because it pretty much uh, protects them from unicorn, which is like the biggest option to try hard. He has a try hard combo, gets an extra body on heal, and you start with prep, get illusion of chaos, chaos for dark magic, chaos. Um, he steals access from our deck, which is fine. Kind of a hard hit, but. Go around, you get circle, circle, soul servant for salvation. Then we souls, we come in DM. Of course, you have to banish this, you can't just banish the try hard, you have to banish. And I, he could have banished, he had me, he could have banished Shark Magician, I don't know why he didn't do that. Um, oh my, very big misplay here. Um, He had me, but just do that. Um, we banish the called by, we get salvation. We, uh, we draw one. Big Chaos Angel. Chaos Angel, we banished uh, uh, uh Destruction. Go Dark. Go into Unicorn. Unicorn comes in handy here to get rid of the Triheart. And then we back over Spirit Claws. And then we banished. Uh, he gets Maxi. And this is so funny. We banished Unicorn. You guys want to guess what he draws off this one Maxi draw off the top deck? Um, we do recycle in the draw phase. They're on talents. Goes into Lightheart, search another few of so. I say, this is fine. We, we expected this. We're gonna try hard, but we're not dead. Um, we see, yeah, I guess the arrival. Arrival, swing back to Scareclaw. That's good. Normal summons Unicorn. Normal summons Unicorn. Drew Unicorn, and now he has birth access. So now this is gonna just get ridiculous. Summon back the other unicorn, attack, um, rip a card out of my extract again. That's the other unicorn, and then, then I think he makes a rice heart. He makes Shanker. Um, I guess he's, and we have, we just, Destiny draw, we just do the Book of Eclipse, and that's just over against Castrea. Play, play Book of Eclipse, guys, play Book of Eclipse. Um, yeah, we just, just keep, keep going. Finish them all, a little sad. We throw another book of eclipse. So we make Ezio to uh, pop the birth. Attack, Fender, gets rid of the field club, attack over that. Attack over Dark Magician. Um, we get Iron Duck, so now we can make Dragonite. Dragonite appearance. This is the true boss monster because no Dragoon. Um, yeah. Jaws is Defender. Like this guy, we I've been taught they can crazy, he's been taught they can crazy. He's a unicorn, he drew Maxi off the top deck, Maxi got into unicorn, and then he drew Fenrir off this top deck. Make Jack and I. Yes, Fenrir. Passed over. Alright, final duel here? Yeah, Cashier, wow. Cashier again. Let me look at this guy. He have a rice heart? He had a rice heart. I don't know why he didn't make a rice heart. Still, could we have outed that? Oh, we, yeah, we had, um, well, he would have banished Eternal Soul, which would have been, it would have been a setback, but maybe he would have survived the extra turn. Um, here's another Castrea deck. No Planet Flat Finder. Um, just playing a random duster, no thrust. Playing evenly, okay. Um, 
Um. Okay, so we go first, and we drew we drew thrust, but we already had the DV barrier, so this this hand is really good. We want him to negate rod or something. Um, so we go um, keep going here with the prep chaos. The chaos get pulled, pull back. Chaos. Will summon does he get maxi? Nope. Will serve and we get salvation. We see a good card off the top of the deck. Um Nibiru, yep. And we just send the thrust off since he looks like he's not playing into it. We make things pretty well. Artemis. And now we have Imperm, D Barrier, Circle Bandage, Nibiru. Very nice. Fenrir, of course, we, we inform the Fenrir for that set and everything. Um, you go summon the Dark Position, Circle Bench to the Unicorn. He has a Rise Heart. This is already three summons. Um, he has two level summons on the field, so we just need Barrier to call like XYZ. Normal summons, Unicorn. Um, he gets Birth. A Birth, summon back, and then this is, um, Fenrir is live again. I don't know why he didn't go to battle phase so he could um banish my eternal soul. He just keeps summoning. So I think he is he gets nipped here. And he has a big token, but we just circle banish the token. Another nip. Um full servant we get um, chaos again, so nip back. Because I don't think he's getting to five summon. Um we get our position out, we banish the token, go battle phase. Yeah. So Castura, you gotta play you gotta play you saw Book of Eclipse came in handy. Um Thrust didn't really come in handy. You gotta play the the Book of Eclipse. You gotta play the the Nibiru. So good. Um D Bear did come in handy. I don't know about D Bear like D Bear it's good against it like FTK so many decks, branded. D Bear is so busted. Branded Sword Soul. Um Castira. Pendulum. Even it, it hurts Makanko. Um Yeah, but I feel like the, the Fenrir is just so powerful. Like Fenrir just contends our circle and our eternal soul. They're both face up. They have no protection out Dragonite. It's just so hard to deal with. You have to like have the imp Fenrir or you just you have to banish it. You're, you're just open to like full comp. Fortunate. But yeah. Um these are two deck lists. Um deck lists from the first two duels here with the mod and Salmon Hot is not the anti castier deck list. The deck list for the first two duels is the deck list for the last three duels against Castira. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stop.